we are today going to see one of the world-class geologic sites. Geologists come from all over the world to see these rocks and to see these exposures that we have thanks to the Park Service and thanks to nature, thanks to the Golden Gate and the ocean. These rocks are truly uh, world famous. They go by the collective name of Franciscan and they are uh, rocks that tell the story of a, a different geologic time than we have today. Starting about 140, 150 million years ago, if you had been here, well, in the first place, you'd have been underwater uh, because the shoreline was way off to the east in Nevada, or maybe sometimes as far away as, as Utah, uh, then to eastern California. And instead of the plate under the ocean sliding past, it was colliding with North America. This is the gray wacky. You can really see it down below us. This is one of the few places where you can get a really good look at it. Gray, the fresh stuff that you can see down the hill is gray. And like many rocks, it weathers to a, a brown. The, the minerals that make up the rock have iron in them, and that iron rusts when it gets exposed to the surface, and you get a brownish uh, to reddish color. What happens when lava erupts into water? The cold water chills the outside of the lava, uh, solidifies it, and you form a lava tube and the liquid, the hot stuff keeps flowing, cooling as it gets further and further. And where you run out of fresh lava and you, you're no longer building out this long finger of lava, at the end, you have a rounded hard surface. That's what you're seeing here. And all of this mass of rock is what's called pillow lava from this blobby shape. There are two absolutely first-class places in the immediate Bay Area to see the pillow basalts. They're, this is the best. And walking over the bridge and looking at the pillows under you on all sides. Notice how fresh uh, the rocks are on the ocean side. You know, the pounding of the waves keeps our whole coastline always fresh and clean. Look at the city. Oh, wow. Pebbles are wonderful. Uh, let's find a good one. Somebody see a orangey. Yeah, orangey, they're green. Get them into the sun so you can see. The multicolored church is uh, all of these are chert. This is this is not. But all of these, plus some that are really mustardy. Can you all see? The in the oh, isn't it wonderful? They have sun. Oh. The greeny and yellow, the mustards. There's some that are deep red, redder than this. Uh, the colors of the original chert, the brownish color, is altered by hydrothermal fluids, and that hot water alters the chert. Look at the edge on this quartz where the iron has congregated. Spectacular. And when I started out this morning, 
telling you that geologists come from all over the world to see these Franciscan rocks. I hope by now you're getting a little bit of a sense of why they really do. The Radiolarian Church, it is also called Ribbon Church. This has got to be absolutely spectacular. Not only the layering in it, but how contorted, how folded it's been, it is, and how absolutely stunningly beautiful. You will maybe be surprised when I tell you that we still do not know how these layers happen. If we knew the answers to everything, we would be so bored. And this is one of the geologic mysteries. Uh, and I'm not sure I hope it ever gets solved. I think it's just so wonderful to stand here and look at this incredible thing.